The Palestinian cause has long been synonymous with violence, terrorism, and Islamic fundamentalism. A new generation of pro-Palestinian activists are working to change that image. These young, eloquent speakers, educated in Western universities, are making the rounds on news programs violence only begets more violence. and on university campuses advocating their vision for Palestine. We advocate rights. They're part of the BDS movement. The Boycott, Divestment and Sanctions movement. And their message is clear. We need to boycott Israel. No one should buy Israeli products. They invoke humanist, progressive and socialist values. Quality, freedom and dignity. Justice in Palestine. A democratic movement based on the struggle for human rights. And aim to garner the support of students, trade unionists, and even Jewish civil rights activists. BDS is particularly vigilant against any form of Palestinian-Israeli collaboration. I'm Israeli and we work together. These people trying to cause damage to the Palestinian economy much more than to the Israeli economy. What is it about Israeli-Palestinian collaboration that so threatens BDS? Moderates have been working towards a peaceful solution to the conflict since the 90s, under the guidelines of the widely accepted two-state solution. The only resolution is for the aspirations of both sides to be met through two states where Israelis and Palestinians each live in peace and security. We want a two-state solution. A two-state solution. A two-state solution for two peoples. Two states where Israelis and Palestinians each live in peace and security. I clearly do not buy into the two-state solution. I clearly do not buy into the two-state solution. The two-state solution, as typically expressed, is nothing more than a last-ditch plan to save Zionism. So BDS isn't about peaceful coexistence or ending the occupation. If the occupation ends, let's say, would that end your call for BDS? No, it wouldn't. No. BDS moves beyond ending occupation to place demands for what they term the right of return, the relocation of millions of Palestinians from around the world into Israel. This is the most basic fundamental right that we cannot negotiate away. This is something that we cannot compromise on. You're going to overnight radically completely change the demographic balance in the country. The right of return would extinguish Israel as a Jewish state, and that's not an option. This implication is not lost on Berghouti. If the refugees were to return, you would not have a two-state solution. You'll have a Palestine next to a Palestine, rather than a Palestine next to Israel. If these goals are all actually implemented, what will result is the end of Israel as a Jewish state. Or as BDS activist Ronnie Casserles puts it, BDS will help bring about the defeat of Zionist Israel and victory for Palestine. These statements irrevocably shatter the veneer of progressive liberal language to reveal the true nature of BDS, a venomous, deceitful, anti-peace, anti-coexistence movement that will settle for nothing short of the annihilation of the Jewish state. We don't get fooled again.